Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. Today I'm going to share with you a new recipe called Garbage Potatoes. And this recipe was shared with us uh, from a friend of ours a long time ago. And he was a young man and Garbage Potatoes, rightly named, um, his method was a little, a little interesting. He actually used a garbage bag to mix them. So he would put the, the wedges in the, in the bag and then pour all these spices in there and then he would just shake it up in this gar, you know, an actual black trash bag, which, you know, I, I have opted for a Ziploc bag rather than a trash bag, just because who knows what's in those garbage bags. So we're just gonna get onto it here. I have here uh, six russet potatoes sliced into wedges. And it doesn't have to be russet potatoes, but I think they really bake up pretty nicely. And then I have a plate full of spices here. And I just showed you, I've got onion powder, smoked paprika, paprika, pepper, turmeric, and cumin. Uh, cumin's not here, cause it's all right there. <laughs> um, but you can use really any spices you like uh, to your preference, you know, they're garbage potatoes. It's just potatoes with a lot of seasoning on them. So these are just the spices that my family uh, happens to like. So that's what I'm going to use today. Um, I've already got my oven preheated to 375 and I've got my Bragg's liquid aminos here, or you can use, um, there's coconut, coconut aminos also, and they're even a little bit lower sodium. But this is going to replace, you know, give you a little bit of a salty flavor. And this is also what's going to get the spices to stick to the potatoes instead of using oil. Because we're doing oil free here. So I'm just going to squirt in there about, about a couple teaspoons really. And then I'm just going to pour my spices in there and mix it up. And I'm gonna zip it closed first. And I'm just gonna like massage it around until it's all, you know, it's all mixed pretty well. All the clumps are gone. Okay. And then we're gonna put our potatoes in and just massage it. And this one is great for families. You know, if you got some little kitties, this would be great to have them do it. You know, have them do the massaging. It's kind of fun. But you know, my kids are grown. They don't think that stuff is that much fun anymore. So I'll just do it. We're just gonna massage them around until the potatoes are pretty well coated. And get some of that air out of there. It's kind of hard to mix them when it's got a big air bubble in there. So this one's so easy takes about a half an hour, you know, and it's good as a snack or it's good for a side for dinner. Or, you know, you could use these and make like loaded potatoes where you, you know, you do your wedges first and then, you know, make them like nachos. And you can look at my nachos recipe to put all those different toppings on it, like pico de gallo or salsa or my nacho cheese, which is fantastic. That would taste really delicious on these. Or just do them just simple ketchup and mustard. Or ketchup. I like mustard on it. Alright, there we go. Mixed pretty well. Just gonna flop them out here on a cookie sheet with baking paper because then you don't have, there's no cleaning afterward. You don't have to clean off that nasty sticky cookie sheet. This will just Peel right off and you're done. You can just, you know, wipe off your cookie sheet and put it back in the drawer. That's my kind of cooking. All right, that's it. So we're gonna stick it in the oven for about a half an hour and then I'll show you when they're done. Okay, here you guys, look at that. They are done. They smell delicious. Now it's just down to a taste. I'm not gonna burn myself here. Ooh, those are hot. I've just got a little ketchup here, a little spicy mustard. I like spicy mustard on it. My family sometimes eats uh, ketchup or barbecue sauce, but I like this. Mm-mm, mm, that's so good. I guess my lunch is made. 
Hope you guys like it. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.